Engine ignition, two, one, zero. Ready. And liftoff. Last summer, a new Mars rover called Perseverance was launched from Earth at about 25,000 miles per hour towards the red planet. Last Thursday, it reached Mars after traveling 300 million miles and landed successfully after following a very complicated, challenging, and incredible landing procedure. Then it started sending back video footage, including a clip of the parachute that slowed it down during landing. In the press conference where NASA showed the footage, they said there was a hidden message in the design of the parachute. Sometimes we leave messages in our work for others to find for that purpose. So we invite you all to uh, give it a shot and show your work. Hours later, Maxence Abella tweeted that he and his father had discovered the message. Here's how the hidden message works. Let's take a closer look at the parachute. Here's a cleaned up illustration of the pattern. Notice that there are four groups within the parachute design. The first inner ring, a second ring, a third ring, and an outer ring. Each one of these rings has different arrangements of red and white stripes. The message is hidden using binary numbers. To get the binary numbers, you have to treat the white stripes as zeros and the red stripes as ones. To read the message, we start in the first inner ring at the end of all of these red stripes here. Then we convert the first 10 stripes to zeros and ones like this. This gives us a 10 digit binary number. It starts with a bunch of zeros, then there's a one and then zero, zero. Now let's get the next 10 stripes as binary. That gives us a binary number that has a bunch of zeros with a one at the end. Let's do this for the rest of this ring. We stop here since we reached this big group of red stripes again. So now we have these four binary numbers. Now what? Well, the next step is to convert them to decimal. Binary numbers use only zeros and ones. We need to convert them to decimal numbers, the ordinary numbers we're used to using, that use the digits zero through nine. Here's a converter tool we can use to make it easy. The link is in the description. All right, let's put in our first binary number. Okay, that number converts to four in decimal. So now, what's the fourth letter of the alphabet? It's the letter D. Now let's do the same thing with the second binary number. This one converts to one in decimal, and the first letter of the alphabet is A. The next number converts to decimal 18, which gives the letter R. And finally, this one converts to five, and the fifth letter of the alphabet is E. We now see that the hidden message starts with the word dare. All right, good progress. To get the rest of the message, we move to this stripe in the next ring. Then we keep converting groups of 10 stripes to binary, just like before. So let's do it for this ring. We find that the next word in the message is mighty. We're done with this ring, so let's move to this stripe in the next ring. And keep converting to binary and letters. So this ring translates to the word things. The three words together form the message, dare mighty things, which is kind of an inspirational motto for the Mars team. And it's a reference to a speech by Teddy Roosevelt. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much, because they live in a gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. But wait, there are still patterns on the fourth ring, the outer one. So is there more to the message? Let's start at the stripe where we left off and move to the outer ring. Then let's read off more blocks of 10 stripes as binary. So now we have eight binary numbers. Let's convert them to decimal numbers. There are only 26 letters in the alphabet, but we've got these bigger numbers like 34, 58, 118, and 31. What's going on here? Well, someone figured out that they are GPS coordinates. 34, 11, and 58 are actually 34 degrees, 11 minutes, and 58 seconds. 118, 10, and 31 are 118 degrees, 10 minutes, and 31 seconds. The 14th letter of the alphabet is N, so let's write it as N. The 23rd letter is W, so let's replace that with W. 
Now let's open up Google Earth and search for these GPS coordinates and see where it takes us. These coordinates take us straight to the entrance of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the NASA Research Center that built the Perseverance rover and many other spacecraft over the past 80 years. That was a very cool Easter egg for the geeks. JPL is fond of putting Easter eggs in their missions. In one of the photos the rover just sent back, you can see a little family portrait of all the rovers that have been to Mars. Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and now Perseverance. The Curiosity rover had special holes in its wheels that would stamp JPL and Morse code in the Martian dirt. And the InSight Mars lander had JPL written in Braille on the sides of its camera calibration target. There will probably be more Easter eggs to come. The Perseverance team has already said there may be more hidden messages on the rover besides the one on the parachute. It's so cool to see the continuing success of this mission. Congratulations to NASA for yet another massive achievement in the exploration of Mars and I look forward to more Easter eggs and discoveries to come.